Hi, I'm Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. And what we're going to do today is show you how to update your HDS units using software downloaded from a computer. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and update our software for the unit. We're going to go ahead and go to the Lowrance website to download the software. Uh, at the Lowrance website, we're going to click on support. Um, as you can see down here is the software updates. We're going to go ahead and select the Gen 3 because that's the unit we're updating. Down towards the bottom, you'll see where it says software update or software download. We're going to click on that. It's a zip file. And at the bottom of the screen, it comes up and shows save. We want to hit the down arrow, select save as. And the reason I do this is it allows me to save it into a specific folder so I can find it easier later. I'm going to save it into the My Software folder where I generally put my software. We're going to go ahead and click Save here. Now it says the download has been complete. I'm going to open it in this folder. It shows up in my folder and as you can see right here, the little Z tells us it's a zip file. So if I go ahead and double click on that, most windows will allow you to open the zip file. Here it is, unzipped. We're going to highlight it and we're going to select Copy. It's going to ask us the location, which is going to be in the My Software folder. I'm going to tell it OK. It extracts the zipped up files. Now if we close out of this, we can see in the My Software folder, it is now extracted and ready to put on an SD card. So now I'm going to right click. I'm going to highlight the software and then right click on it. I'm going to select Copy. Then I'm going to go to my Start menu, go to Computer. I'm going to go to my removable disk, which is my SD card. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select paste, and it's going to put that software on the SD card so that I can install it on the unit. Um, it told me it's done copying, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to double click on it just to look and make sure we can see the software is in that folder, so we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and close out of that, and we're going to remove the SD card from the computer. The software is on an SD card, but it's also on this micro SD card. This is an adapter, so I'm going to remove my micro SD card from the adapter. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to put the software in the unit. Once your SD card's in the unit, we're going to go ahead and power cycle the unit. So I'm going to hold here and shut the unit off. Now I'm going to power cycle the unit and it's going to see the update on that card and it's going to start loading the software onto the unit. While it's updating the software on the unit, do not unplug your unit or disconnect it from the power that it's connected to. If you do that, that can cause a corruption in the software and problems with your unit and you may have to send it in to us to have it reloaded. Now that the update is complete, the unit reboots itself. Some updates may require the unit to reboot and update twice. Some do not. This one does not, so it's going to boot back up into its normal functioning screens. Okay, now that we've booted back up, we're going to go ahead and click the Accept button. The unit comes up. We're going to hit our Pages key. We're going to go to Settings, and we're going to touch the About. And as you can see, we have a new software version. The application is 51.1.70, which tells us our software update is complete and this unit is now ready to use.